misinformation is an honest kind of mistake. You, uh, you, you know, you got something wrong. Disinformation is something that fits into an ideological framework and vision and serves an, a, a political end. Very different, very sinister. If you think you can change the world and make everybody better and happy, then it's endless, it's limitless. Uh, and that's, that's where your disinformation, you, 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 not only do you lie for a particular goal, and, but you lie to protect the big goal. The disinformation programs of the Cold War, there was obviously an apparatus inside the Soviet bloc that manufactured this information, but they probably didn't even think of it as lies. They thought of it as um, in their cause is very noble since they're redeeming the world and making it a perfect place. I have no doubt that's, uh, you know, it's certainly true of the, of the Palestinians and the Islamists. I mean, they're congenital liars is what they are. I mean, I, I'm, I'm dumbstruck by the brazenness, you know, they, uh, of, the, of the kind of propaganda they put out that, uh, you know, Jews never inhabited the Middle East and, uh, you know, the, I don't know, the, the Temple of Solomon wasn't the Temple of Solomon and just on and on, just rewrite history. Um, you know, but they also put out these stories that, you know, Israelis killed some little kid or something like that. It's a complete lies. And it takes time to expose them. You know, it started with the uh, snake in the garden, didn't it? He said, you shall be as God. That's the delusion that leftists had, that they can be as God. But it was a lie. These great um, or terrible messianic movements, Nazism, communism, socialism, all appear um, after Darwin. They appear when organized religion declines. People need a meaning in their lives, and these are substitute, substitutes for religion. Uh, and what makes them so dangerous, much more dangerous than any traditional religion, um, and I don't consider Islam a traditional religion. It's, of, it's not at all parallel to Judaism or Christianity. Um, these are, are dangerous in a way that other religions aren't anymore because they believe they can establish the kingdom of heaven in this world. And they will do anything that it takes to achieve that. And of course, if you believe that you could, you know, lead mankind into the Garden of Eden, um, what crime wouldn't you commit and what lie wouldn't you tell to do it? The world is a fallen place. Uh, we uh, go through a, a veil of tears and suffering, and then there's a redemption. And the difference is whether you believe it requires a divinity to save us from ourselves, or you think uh, some of us are smart enough and virtuous enough to save everybody else. And if you don't go along with the program, we're going to put you in a gulag or we're going to put you up against a wall and shoot you. Only in the days of the Soviet Union was the Communist Party really important as a, as a party. What's important is the idea. Once you have the idea that there can be a kingdom of heaven on earth and that that kingdom of heaven can be created by human beings, corrupt human beings, through political power, then you're a communist. And, and everything goes with it. Um, in St. Augustine's time, it was called the Pelagian heresy. It was the heresy of Pelagius that, that you could create the kingdom of God on earth. And of course, that's what the liberation theologians, all of these Marxists, say. Uh, um, you, you do the work, do the work of Jesus. Well, you actually can't do the work of Jesus if you're a mortal human being. Uh, but what needs to be added is that there's nothing more dangerous than people who think they're God. In order to cure people, whether it's of their drug abuse uh, or alcohol abuse uh, or, or 
whatever, sugar abuse, <laughs> um, you have to control them. And, if, and that, that, that's what totalitarianism is about. It's the word total, totalitarian is total, total control. It's not like a normal dictatorship where you have a corrupt tyrant who basically just doesn't want people to interfere with his corruption and, and his pleasure. And a totalitarian regime, which is created by progressives, uh, which wants to change your very nature. Communism didn't die with the Cold War. It's alive and well. In fact, it's in the White House. Um, uh, Obama was brought up and spent his life in the same left that I left. Only the worst part of it, the Bill Ayers part. Um, so I, I think communism is stronger than ever. Um, of course, today's communists will denounce communists. Um, co communists are not stupid, and they adjust. But communism that uh, is alive and well and very, very strong because it, it, it represents that longing that people have that life should be meaningful, that the world should be just and ordered. Barack Obama is a communist, and I, I mean, a small c communist. I don't mean he's a member of the Communist Party. But his whole mentality, his entire life has been spent in the communist left, what I call the communist left. Um, so why shouldn't he pick a wretch like John Kerry? One of the most wretched human beings ever to hold high office. Uh, betrayed his own comrades in the field, accused them of war crimes that he never saw and, and, and didn't take place. Um, terrible man. Uh, praised Assad. Every, every foreign policy position he's ever taken has, 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 has been bad and wrong and shown to be wrong. Of course, Obama is picking people who reflect what he believes now. He doesn't have another election that he's going to worry about. He's kind of revealed himself. Um, and I think it's, it's very troubling for the country. I, I, when he got reelected, I said a lot of people are going to die because of this election. And I still believe that. A lot of people. I hope I'm wrong. I'm going to die. The Middle East especially, Jews, but also Americans. Um, it's terrible. Saul Alinsky, who is the, the Karl Marx of, of, of the Obama left, mm -hmm. um, this whole book is about lying. It's about the ends justify the means. Our ends are so noble because mm -hmm. we're going to save the world um, that we, you know, um, any means is justified. In war, any means is justified. And he says it in so many words. So in their own minds, even though they know they're not telling the truth, it's in a higher service of a higher cause, a higher morality. Barack Obama makes Bill Clinton look like a Boy Scout when it comes to lying. I mean, this, this man, everything this man says is a lie. I, 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 I had to watch the State of the Union, and I found it very hard to watch. When somebody starts out by telling you he's cut $2.6 trillion from the debt, and then tells you um, that the war on terror is almost over, um, or tells you that uh, a grenade, a rocket attack on his embassy is uh, the result of a spontaneous demonstration, uh, over a film that nobody saw. <laughs> what do you do with somebody like that? You, just, you know, you just shut your ears because everything that he's trying to put in them is false. He, he said he was going to be a uniter, not a divider. He said he was going to be a pragmatist. He said he wasn't going to go for a government control of health care. I mean, all these, everything he says is a lie. Uh, it's, a, it's not only a waste of time to listen to him, but it, it, um, it has a negative impact on your, you know, the health of your soul. We live in this universe that the left creates because it, 
that runs the media. You know, I don't think that um, patriotic Americans should be discouraged. I mean, everything I've said probably would lead to discouragement, but you know, conservatives have only begun to fight. Uh, you know, when I came out of the left, I said, uh, you know, where's the army on the right? And there was none. There's no, no, no grassroots movement whatsoever. Now there's the Tea Parties. We have a grassroots movement. Um, I'd say, where's the so-called ruling class? We're all these rich people who are supposed to, why aren't they defending their system? There used to be, uh, you know, three networks. All the news, you know, the, the god of, uh, of truth was uh, Walter Cronkite, a leftist. Now there's all, all this media, there's the internet and so forth. So I, you know, I, I think our, we have some good, good chances to actually win this battle. But uh, people got to wake up sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm.